that Rata in Sanskrit means a delight. Rati makes a tunnel, digs an unseen pathway for Odin, that is for us, into the cliff or berg, or the real help as Björg can also mean help, or what saves us, a savior. Rati knows where to find what we need. Nidbjörg, to Gunnlöð, who guards the map of wisdom. Well, she is supposed to guard it, giving no access to it, but she gives it away freely, not guarding it at all, as was wanted from her. She is a thirst maiden, not a divine goddess. Thirst is in the relative field of life, but like everything else, merges with the divine in unity, as that is what everything is, symmetry. Everything comes from unity and ends in the same symmetry. The name Gunnluth implies hospitality. She lures us into her Nidbjörg. Gunn might mean battle, or it can be akin to Guð, which means God. Gunn, Guð, very common in proper names in Iceland. Phonetics like Svinr, Svidr, which means intelligent, cunning, gifted. Odin, the name, has meanings, of course, many meanings actually. All names have a meaning, or more than one meaning. Odin has to take on the guise of a worm. That is to say, we take on the guise of a worm to reach Gunnlöð in Nidbjörg. This is a Danish ancient precious little thing of silver, archaeological finding from the Bronze Age. In order to use Rati's hole, too narrow for our human body to squeeze through, it's only that wide, only for us in the guise of a worm can it be of any use. So what we do? Our mortal body cannot slip through. We put it aside for a while, penetrate the Rati Gnorn pipe. Wormholes in space-time froth. Gunnlöð waits for us, and we accept and truly appreciate the met of wisdom. We consume for three nights metal wisdom from Kvasir. Then we fly out in the guise of an eagle. Kvasir has a story behind him, of course, and so has his name, and so has his blood. This is flow of wisdom. Kvasir could mean the sound of moving liquid, bubbling, ripple, twaddle. This sphere of life is full of sounds and movement, sound waves and flow. We tend not to understand that in its full glory and its deepest sense. Odin heading for Ausgardur. Gunnlöð is sorry because we are leaving, cries a bit, but we have to hurry. Suttungur, her father, is furious. He takes on the guise of a hawk, following us, as he does not want to let go of the mat, which Gunnlöð was not supposed to give away freely. We just managed to reach Ausgardur spewing the met of wisdom to the gods and goddesses, but in the rush some slips out of the inferior end. This rear end splash is welcomed by men who assume they know everything, but know not the profundity of their innermost ginnungagap. Their part is skaldpipla hlutur, the part of the non-bards, skaldpipl non-bards, are deluded in their misleading assumption of authenticity. Pipl means a fool. They might talk a lot, teach all about truth, which they actually do not possess in them for real.